Hi, it's Frank from Man Lake. A lot of you getting bees this year are gonna get packages from the various package producers. And there are three types of queen cages out there. No telling which one will come with your package. So I'm gonna show you the three queen cages and explain how to hang them with a uh, queen cage hanger. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is what's called the Jay-Z BZ. It's got the queen in there. And when we take a package out, we're always gonna look at our queen, make sure she's moving around. This one typically will not come with any attendant bees in it but it's got a sugar plug right here. We usually leave the cap on when we first put it in. We come back after a few days, we'll take this cap off, remove it, and the bees will eat their way through that sugar to let that queen out. The next one is called a California queen cage. It's long and narrow. It's just got enough room for that queen in there. This one does happen to have an attendant in it with her. She's walking around with her, but generally it's just the queen. This one is hung inside of a package and the bees feed her and after the same thing, after five days, you'll come back, you'll take this cork out and you'll let that queen, you'll release her into the colony. The importance of doing that, of course, is to get let those bees get to know that queen. She did not come from their colony in, in these cases and they'll wanna kill her within the first few days. So we leave her in there for at least three days. I generally say five till they get to know her. Then I come back and I let her out. The last one is what we call the Benton Queen Cage or the three hole queen cage. You can see it's got three holes. The third one is partly covered with fondant candy and that keeps the bees from getting in. This one will generally come with attendant bees. In this case, it doesn't have any. We've got some hitchhikers on here wanting to get in. This one's actually trying to sting the queen so they know it's not their queen, but it has candy on one end and a cork on the other. We don't want the bees to eat through this candy within three days. I generally put a piece of tape over here so the bees can't get in. And then I come back in three days, so I'll either take that off or I will pop this cork with a knife. One thing I will caution you on, every one of these has a direct release of the queen, whether it be taking this cork out, whether it be opening this little side chute, or whether it be popping the cork out of this one. Be very careful. Don't stand up, take that cork out because that queen has not been fed heavily, she can still fly, she'll take off. Be prepared, whichever one you do, put your finger over that if you're letting her out a direct way. But we don't recommend that anyway. We recommend using a queen holder. And this queen cage holder will accept every kind of queen cage. It'll take the JZBZ cage, it'll take the three hole cage, going sliding in this way, and it will take the California cage going in, sliding in this way. So it doesn't matter what kind of cage you get with your package, you can fit them all into this and hang them in there. It's a safe, easy way to get your queen into a colony and get her safely released.